everyone, I'm Nikki. I'm Nick. And together we're Nikki and Nick. Um, today we're going to be reacting to Casually Explain Levels of Well. Um, I'm actually kind of excited to see this video because... Ready for depression. What? We're going to depression. talk about wealth. <laughs> Listen, we're all, so we're all on that struggle bus. Everyone knows it. So Sounds scary the struggle bus. <laughs> um, but it's number six. It's number six on trending, so I'm sure it's gonna be good. Um, I think we've watched one other video. Of yes, his, we have. Um, and we really enjoyed that one. So I want to see what he's got to say about what the levels of wealth look like. I, I don't like know what he's, what he's going to say about drawing. all this. Yeah, me too. I think <laughs> it's funny. Um, but before I get into it, I just want to mention another big shout out to Roy Party. Um, so he not only hats. sent us shirts, um, but he also sent us hats, and we just got those today. I love mine in the um, car. This is actually in the car, but we both got that these hats, and we're super stoked, and we were um, really thankful that he sent us those because we thought it was really awesome. So thank you yeah. so much. We'll put cool his guy. link Check him out. to yeah, Very we'll put the link person. to his um, channel below in our description. So you ready? Yep. Let's go. Here we go. When we it's think of I'm money, it's today. usually in terms of what things we can buy with it. But your level of wealth doesn't only determine what you own, it can determine entirely what your life looks like, and I wanted to give a bit of an overview of what that could look like at some different intervals. Now, at the bottom of the pyramid, of course, we have the alcoholic, amphetamine abusing lowlife who mooch off public services because they can't pay their debts or find Wow, he went right in there yeah, pretty hot. <laughs> Disgusting. Next, we have the working and middle class, which makes up about 90% of the population. Even though it might seem like they can't accomplish much compared to the elites of society, members of the middle class can work together to become much more powerful. As an example, with one roommate they can afford rent, but with two they can afford furniture. The middle class <laughs> earns up to 300000 a year, but the median individual income is a lot more modest at 38000 This can be pretty misleading though, because if you're 50 with a wife and two kids, 38 k a year is pretty rough. But if you're 21 and single, you're buying resale Yeezys thinking, man I wonder how much sex I'd have if I didn't live with my parents. So in conjunction, I think there are a couple lifestyle indicators to check to see if you're in the middle class, such as your grandparents had five kids, your parents had three kids, and you're going to put a stop to it once and for all. And you don't have an emergency <laughs> fund because you figure that if you're on vacation, your appendix gives out, why would you spend 20k on surgery when you could just die? So moving beyond the middle class, we get to the start of your truly wealthy people. These oh are notorious 1% who typically have an individual income of 300000 or higher or a net worth of over $8 million. Usually this means wow. you have more than one home, active investments, travel whenever you want, and basically have the best of everything short of private jets and a Battlefront 2 season pass. But in the same way someone in the arts might be interested in accomplishing <laughs> here, there's a huge difference between people within the 1%. As an example, if you're worth $75 million, you have the ability to see almost anyone in the world just by asking. But if you're worth $75 billion, you have the ability to see almost anyone in the world without asking. Once you're worth over $100 million, people use your first and last name when they talk about you. And if you're not famous, you at least have a Wikipedia page that you didn't make yourself. You likely make up to $10 million a year, which to compare with the more normal income is like going to Costco and paying $1.50 for a hot dog, but getting 100 hot dogs. I don't know why I left that in. Um, at this point, your wealth is almost magnetic to more wealth, and ironically, things start costing less. I could pay $5,000 for a Gucci suit, and people might think I'm cool, but if I were actually cool, Gucci would have paid me to wear it. Well, it sounds yeah. pretty great. You might start to wonder if people like you True. for you, I never or thought of that. like you because you're rich and famous. Fortunately, though, you are rich and famous. So finally, at the very top of the pyramid, you have people yeah. working pay to wear it and they pay you to wear it. 0.001%. Wow. Guys like Elon, Jeff, Branson, and Bill. These people have so much money, they can literally change the world. Save the kids, done. Create your own space program, <laughs> done. done. Dinner with the president, you are the president. You don't fly business, you buy the business. When you get pet supplies from Amazon, you mean the rainforest. And when you say, hey babe, how about I drive this time? You're talking to the car. <laughs> if you God. Jeff Bezos recently overtook Bill Gates, and to be as rich as the two of them, you would have to earn about $5,000 every minute you were alive. They even said themselves, I don't think I could even spend the money if I tried. Fucking amateurs. Now, with the period capped <laughs> off, if we step back, sure it that. does seem like the implication here is that your life gets better the more money you have, which brings about the age-old question of, does money buy you happiness? And from what I've looked at, oh. I think the best explanation is that money won't buy you happiness, but it can make problems go away that make you unhappy. Like when you go to take money out of your bank account and get charged a fee because there's no money in your bank account. <laughs> when you buy tickets online, you have to pay extra for doing all the work yourself. With that said, I wanted to end it at that point, but I showed my friend and she said, is that it? Is it just first world countries? What about the rest of the world? And you know, hmm. 
like they say, you, you can't make your sneakers and wear them too. Um, the good news is that my demographics show that there aren't many people in third world countries watching my videos. They don't have internet. So, um... You should do it anyway, so... Yeah, I should do a part two. Levels of wealth, part like, two. Side note, if you a want world. to get an audio version of any of my videos, you can go to the CastBox app or website uh -huh. and subscribe to the Casually Explained channel. Cool. Um, right now, I think there's only one video uploaded there, but the rest are going to be processing over the next day or two, and you can get an audio version of all the latest uh, videos that I make and maybe like a little bit of exclusive you know, audio-only content coming up in the future. So go check that out. That would be That's great. That's cool. Thank you. It goes to show, like, his drawing doesn't have to be good, but he does talk about some good, yeah, like, I think awesome he's got, information. He's got the voice wow, that was depressing. Well. Yeah, mm hmm. I, the <laughs> but point it is zero, true, though. zero, one percent. They literally have so much money that there isn't it. They can't. I, I would have to agree with him, though, about the fact that he's right. Money does not buy happiness, but. Bill it Gates does. can give a, one person a dollar. Everybody on Earth. Yeah, but it does. It's crazy to think about stuff like that. But it's, but it does help take away problems that you do have. Like if you're hungry, well, you need money to buy food. So yeah, I mean, like even the simplest problems. Or if you want to not be sleeping outside, you need money to get a hotel or to rent. Talk about money or. depresses me. Yeah, me too. Cause I'm gonna like, drive this time. Yeah, the to <laughs> talking to the car. Um, <laughs> yeah, we watched. We just watched that video recently. Um, well, Liza's boyfriend. When he was straight. Oh David. My God, I didn't him, know. They, yeah, he did like a. I didn't um, know that one did that. Yeah. It blew my mind. It's literally driving itself. Yeah. I would be so scared and amazed at the same time. I would be so nervous. I'd be I'd like be freaking out the whole time. Is it gonna stop? It's not stopping. It's not slowing down. <laughs> that would be me though. I think I would have to drive the car myself because I would be too like. Anxious. Keep your hands on the. It's I like, have like an anxiety attack. Gonna, it's like you just turn around. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn this. I'm gonna tell this car to turn around. <laughs> if you do not cut it out. Now listen, kids. <laughs> Tesla, I will have turn, her around. Turn, this car around. turn around. Turn around, Tesla. <laughs> it just starts turning. That's but so funny. what what I I got me that. out of it was the level of wealth. It's like you are wealthy. You buy to wear a Gucci, it's like a suit from yeah, Gucci. Yeah, it's true though. Or you're so well known that Gucci pays they you pay to you. wear the suit. Mm -hmm. I never actually sought down. It. Sought down. I sat never down. sought down before. I don't I hope nobody's ever sought down before. I've <laughs> never actually down sat down and thought about that. Yeah, it's true. That's crazy. That's like a new height. That's like a different goal. A, I've never thought of that before. Level. It's like being, being sponsored. It is. Yeah. And then I've never actually thought about that. Yeah, so, I don't know. That was crazy. I gotta rewatch that, that again. was very informative. So, um, but if you guys have any more requests for any more of his videos or any anything else, just leave in the comments below. And if you guys want to see more of us, make sure to check out the description box below. So, I just have to make sure to subscribe. Yes, it's upside down. Subscribe. <laughs> and as always, thank you for your support. We love you guys. Every single one of you. We're not kidding. I love all of you. You're like, no, me no. Me too. Not me. Not, we're, they're not. Yes, you. Bye. Bye. Love you.